Hello everyone, my name is Adam Ripples Vox, and welcome back to another Ubuntu Tips video brought to you by System76. Now you may have seen me at some point on the channel or on social media or what have you talking about the issue of variable frame rate footage, which is footage that does not stick to a solid 24, 30, or 60 frames per second, but bounces around, usually from webcams or cell phone video. And if you import that into professional video editors, it can actually cause audio video desync as the video editor wants to read the frame rate as a constant frame rate, but it's not, so the audio and video slowly become out of sync over time. To fix this, you need to transcode the footage, and there's two great free ways to do it on Linux that I will show you how to do here today. The first way is with a free program called Handbrake. Link to that will be in the description below, and you should be able to get it from the software store. If not, the, their website will have a repository for you to install. Handbrake is a great program which you can use to transcode footage. Open up Handbrake, drag your video file onto it, go over to the video tab and where it says frame rate FPS, choose your frame rate, be it 29.97, 30, 24, 23.976, 59.94, or 60, whichever one you're targeting, and then choose the dot next to constant frame rate, not peak frame rate. That will lock it to a solid non-variable frame rate, a constant frame rate, as it were. And then under quality over on the right, drag the slider over to 8. This will make an exact like-for-like -like lossless copy of your video without losing audio or video or audio quality. And if the audio is important to you from this clip, if, you know, if you don't have an external mic, click the audio tab and where it has the bit rate for the audio, choose 320 as that is the highest basic that you'll get. And then click or tell it where to save your destination file and click start. And that will transcode your footage to an X264 MP4 format with a locked frame rate enabled. And there you go. If you want to use FFmpeg instead, uh, assuming you already installed the multimedia codecs, which we've done in a previous tutorial, link to that in the playlist in the card icon above, description below, open up a terminal with Control alt t or hit the super key and type in terminal and open it up. Type in FFmpeg space dash i space in quotes, your video file name dot mp4. So you're going to want to CD to your video location first, if you haven't already, space dash vf space fps equals equals and then 30 60 24 whatever frame rate you're targeting space dash c colon v for codec for your video pro res space dash profile colon v space two space dash c colon a pcm underscore s16 le space quotes your output video file which is going to be need to be in dot mov format i'll post my sample script in the description below for you to work off of if you don't if you couldn't follow that which is totally understandable a sample of what you need to type will be there so you can copy paste and replace with your attributes and hit enter and it will transcode the video footage a uh, handbrake tends to work faster than the prores transcoding but the prores transcoding is just sometimes preferred by some depending on what video editor you you're using you're using i can talk today Either way, the end result will be a constant frame rate file that you can import into your video editor without audio video desync. If there's inherent audio video desync to the file itself, even when you play it back in a media player, you know, regardless of the frame rate, then this will not fix it because that's something wrong with the file itself, not just your video editor not reading it. And that will require you just manually like trying to chop it up and realign the audio video. But otherwise, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, Come check out our sponsor, System76. System76 is based out of Denver, Colorado and builds powerful and really awesome Linux-based machines for us Linux users who want one that made to work with it right out of the box. I've been using the System76 Lemur laptop as my main Ubuntu machine for a little while now and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. The unboxing to it will be in the description below and that's what I'm recording all of these tutorials on and I'm enjoying it very, very much. They make great machines. They have high quality stuff. They do laptops, desktops, servers, and more. And they've got some pretty cool stuff going all to power makers, creators, coders, and even people like me. Check out their link in the description below for more information and to help out the channel, let them know I sent you. And if you want more Ubuntu related videos, that playlist I mentioned, YouTube card icon and description, more Ubuntu and Linux related videos, check it out. My name's been Adam Vox. I'll catch you in the next video.